Hey everybody, this is Dust for Dust on Gaming, finishing up our Burn League. We started earlier. Well, this seems pretty reasonable. So, started out 4 0, see how this match goes. Promised uh, Jane Shivik and a few others that finish this league up. Looks like we're up against Death and Taxes, possibly, so. Just go ahead and fetch this. So we're going to have for one mana here. Oh, we're against blue white spirits. Interesting. Makes a little more sense, I guess. Unfortunately, Spectral Procession, because it costs six technically, See what our opponent has here. Alright. Don't think we're winning this game, obviously. Alright, on to the next game. So... Interested in the Bloods, I'm interested in the Lava Mancers. Blue-white spirits, I'm not really sure if they run too much in the way of life gain. So I think I'm just going to bring in the pass, board out these Eidolons, because they feel terrible, and board out Skullcrack. Just because Eidolons versus... Um, Ether Vile Dex continues to feel terrible. Oh, uh, yeah, sounds fun. Put it mulliganing to five. Yeah, usually when I see basic planes Ether Vile, I think, uh,.
death and taxes, but I guess that may no longer be the case. I'm going to draw us a fetch land here. Hmm, shocking something in, huh? Okay. They could have rattle chains here. Be my most likely guess. They have rattle chains or absolutely nothing. Supreme Phantom. Puts them in a my awkward position now. for four here. So, Elon might have been fine that game, but if they're going to leave any Aether Vials, it just feels awful. So, I don't really think we have any answers to Spectral Procession. So, I think we just keep as we are. for the ability to try to go 5-0. Not a matchup I've seen too terribly much of. Depends on what our opponent's got, I guess. Yeah, hand's fine. Okay. It's gonna be a tough one to beat. Mm-hmm. It's a good indicator that your spirit's opponent wants to beat your uh wants to beat your deck.
All right, I don't think we're winning this game. We've got <clears throat> four cards we can't cast, one card we can, and don't really have enough creatures in our deck to punch through. So, just pass here. Sure. Yep, there's the Phantom. Take eight here. Alright, well that was an unfortunate ending to the league, but, um, you know, sometimes you just run into opponents that want to beat you, so. Uh, deck and sideboard still feel pretty good. Um, there are some other configurations I do eventually want to test. Um, there's some configurations by, uh, Mike Flores and his friend on his podcast. We'll be taking a look at those in the coming future. Um, Someone in the com uh, Foz in the comments suggested that I do a sideboard guide. If you guys would be interested in that, letting me let me know. Um, for now, I'll probably do a sideboard car guide for like the big four or five matchups in modern. Um, beyond that, if you guys want like a specific matchup or something, let me know in the comments of this video. Um, Going to be toying with some other builds of burn over the next week or so. Um, in addition to playing some modern miracles, uh, but for the rest of the evening, I have to work on my Esper deck list. So for Saturday in Standard here, so I'll be signing off here with this video. I might do a quick quick rundown on how I did at uh, Standard Showdown tonight with uh, Esper Nexus. But beyond that, this has been Dust for Dust on Gaming with our fifth and final match in the league, where we ended up going 4-1. So.